Hello, this is Classic Samadan. Now, Classic Samadan has been resting for about a year. We were playing him originally when Classic came out and got ourselves up to the lofty heights of level 35. So with the advent of Burning Crusade coming soon, we thought it would be time to have a look at Samadan and see what we can do for his both leveling and gold making journey in the run up for the Burning Crusade and see what we can do to make gold and have an adventure along the way. So let's go in and have a look where he's at now. And here we are in Dustwallow Marsh. We were in a guild as well, I remember that. Hopefully it's not been completely disbanded. Now we also had the Zygor guides to help us through the leveling process. I'll make sure I just got that turned on as well. Looks like we've got quite a few out of date add-ons here. I'll go and revisit those. We'll also have a look at Trade Skill Master as well. We'll have our TSM Classic going for this. But for the moment, we'll just stick with the Zygor guides and see how we get on. Okay, so we've got a few class skills available to go and pick up. And we also have some spells to pick up here. And also, let's have a look what else we have. Notifications going on there on the side. We've got our usual uh, dots telling us where to go. We are currently on a quest line here in... Where are we? In uh, Theramore Isle here under um, Dustwallow Marsh, so we're about to start our journey over here, over in Kalimdor. Now thinking about it, where we are at at the moment, in terms of let's have a look at professions, because we might need to head on back over to Stormwind and get ourselves all updated and see where we're going from there. Backpack wise we have a fair amount of stuff, we have 17 gold, that's quite reasonable really, I'm not sure what what a level 35 would have these days but we also have professions going at the moment let's have a look where are we at at the moment in terms of skills we have enchanting tailoring enchanting and tailoring at 201 out of 300 and enchanting as 150 out of 225 now with the advent of burning crusade coming i think a couple of good options here would be to either have mining instead of enchanting enchanting is a lovely profession but because the but because of the lack of enchanting volumes it makes it difficult to put things on the auction house you have to do most of your stuff by trades so we might drop enchanting and pick up either maybe mining so we can start collecting some nodes around around the world or we might pick up or we might or we might save this and have it available for jewel crafting when that comes through. It would make sense in our leveling journey here to go tailoring and mining for now whilst we're leveling up. Although that does mean with the way mining works in Classic we'll have to revisit all the old zones and level this up until we can get to our current situation. Cooking looks like it could be upgraded here, fishing as well. Weapon skills are woefully inadequate at the moment, we'll have to look at that. A little bit further but we definitely want to keep tailoring because tailoring in the burning crusade has a lot of interesting specialisms and options which i'll be very excited to revisit once we get there so we're kind of thinking so at the moment samadan we're thinking of a plan as to what we're going to do with you here let's head back to stormwind and get ourselves all sorted we actually have our hearthstone here so that's going to make things quite easy we'll hearthstone straight back here and we can come back and enjoy this journey a bit later once we're all set up Okay, here we are back in Stormwind. Hello Stormwind, wow, what a lovely view to see so many people active and running around. Now the auction house has changed location, it's not over here. So let's have a look, we've got probably a few things in our bank, let's go have a look at that. Uh, yes, we do have a few things. We have quite a lot of bolts of mage weave here, a little bit of extra food as well, which we might want to keep hold of. The cloth and the thread and everything I think is probably quite useful to just keep for now. The silk we could do with some more bags. Obviously some extra bank slots is going to cost us a lot of gold here. With our meager deposits here of 17 gold, that's going to be quite interesting as to what we've got room for here. Got a lot of fish here, some eggs and things. We could really do with TSM here in order to get some prices and some pricing data here. We just have the uh, the Zygor data, which is not available. We haven't configured that. So I'm going to go away and as I'm going to also look for mining, I'm going to drop enchanting. So I think what I'd like to do here is I'm just going to go away and I'm going to get a couple of add-ons and then I'll come back. Okay, we are back into the game and we have some extra add-ons. We've all worked out here. We've got Bagnon installed and up and ready we have gathermate 2 and the data hopefully that will all work we'll test that out once we've picked up mining and we can see what kind of nodes are available to us we've got wide quest log and wide log levels just to give us a better usability when looking at the quest logs however we're going to be using zygor here for most of this and of course we've got tsm installed here 
and we have the classic Mirage Raceway Alliance data all up to date here as part of our application. So, a bit more ready now, let's have a look what kind of adventure shall we start with you. The Zygor Guide here just has tailoring 1 to 300 for the skill ups. We might keep that for the moment, but the main thing we want here is leveling add-ons. So we are currently, we've done, these are the ones we've ticked off, we are currently level, well, actually thinking about it, leveling wise we'll have to take a second fiddle to our mining because we're going to have to catch up on our mining. So let's have a look at our professions here. We're going to unlearn enchanting. Much as I never like to unlearn a profession, I always prefer to make another character and learn the profession that way. In this case I think I'm going to go with tailoring and mining just so that I can use it, make use of it to make some gold at this initial early stage. Stage. So we'll keep the tailoring though definitely, that's going to be very useful. So we need to go and find our mining trainer, which if memory serves is over in the Dwarven district. So let's go over here, Samadan, and continue our journey. We also had the reminder for our skill ups, we need to go and do that as well. So nice to see so many people around. I haven't picked up any riding skills or anything yet, we're still at level 35, so I believe that comes at 40. We'll then be able to enjoy the mounted masses and run around some more. Lovely to see Stormwind in all its glory. Let me just check we are on view setting 10 for this. In fact, I'll have my turn my name on as well. There we go. Samadan the Goldmakers is the guild we're in. You're welcome to apply if you're joining in on our journey in Classic. It's an amazing difference looking at this zone compared to retail. So much more industrial. Now I believe it's in this building over here. Let's go have a look. Mining supplier. We probably need to get ourselves a mining pick. Grab ourselves one of those. 73 copper well spent. Bagnon's much easier now just having this all organized for us in one bag. And here's our mining trainer. Okay, so next profession. Apprentice miner. This means we will have to go and visit the old zones and level up our mining first. But we'll take this one. This will be a nice resource gathering as we go. Now with, with mining, if you were to pick herbalism as well, you can only track one thing at a time. Where's our, where's our track mining skill? Where is our little filter here for tracking minerals? I don't see it. Do we have one for mining? Change current guide, tailoring, add a new one, professions. Let's have a look at the Zygor, mining one to 300. Walk you through leveling your mining skill. I'll add this one in. So we need to reach level 65 mining. So we're actually given a mining route, I imagine. Let's have a look. Elwyn Forest would be my, there we go, look at that. This would be my suggested route going around here. There's a few different things here. A very nicely done guide, I must say, looking at this. If you are interested in these Igor guides, I will set up a affiliate link for you if you would like to join in as a way of supporting them and me. But I think this is definitely useful to us on our journey. Whilst I'm here, I also need to visit my trainer and we also need to level up as well. So let's go over to the Cathedral District. We can learn some things here. For this episode, we're mainly going to be setting ourselves up, getting ready for our adventures. This is where your spells are going to cost a fair amount, so let's go have a look and see what we can get first and foremost. We may not need to buy all of them. Here we are, skills available. Move this off to the right and see this. So look, Desperate Prayer rank 4, that's another gold there. Fade rank 2 to 3, that's another gold there. We could really do with a little bit more gold before we go fully into this I would say. Go to our priest trainer here for training. So we have mana burn, feedback, levitate could be useful as we're traveling around. Does it require a reagent? Yes it does, a light feather. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Prayer of healing for dungeons and things would be useful. Abolish disease, now that would be useful. We do have at the moment cure disease, one disease from the friendly target. Abolish disease disease effect and one more every five seconds. Instant heals would be useful here. Desperate prayer 474. We go up to 593. I think we ought to keep that one. Heal would always be useful here. Heal your target for an extra bit. I'll train that one. Resurrection with a little bit extra health. We're currently at rank two. So rank three would be I think useful here. Now we need some damaging spells. So psychic Dream. We currently have the rank 1, so we'll take the rank 2 as well. Mind Blast would be useful here. And Shadow Word Pain. There we go, so we've got those. The rest of those we'll keep for the moment because we've still got only 12 gold left. So we'll take those. Now we need to learn those. So Mind Blast rank 4, we need to upgrade that to Mind Blast rank 5. And Shadow Word Pain 
we have the rank 4, we'll take the rank 5, we'll add that one on there. We still have our Holy Fire rank 3, so this is all going to be new, getting used to the system of classic again. Back to the Old Memories Smiter rank 5, we have that there, okay. We're all set up for that side of things. Now, talent-wise, we have one talent point available. We were going here as Discipline for the moment. Shadow, we have five in here, one in here. Shadow Word Pain would be useful. In terms of suggestions for levelling here, I'd have to look up what to, what to go with here. I would want to probably want to inc increase the duration of Shadow Word Pain from this point of view. Improved Power Word Fortitude does also seem quite nice. One specialisation, definitely. Probably drop over to Shadow for this. 2% chance to stun the target could be useful. I think we'll leave that for the moment until we decide what we're going to do. Maybe improve Powered Fortitude for now would be quite nice. There we go. Powered Fortitude is on and activated a decent amount of health there. Okay, spells collected. Next part of our adventure, let's have a look at mining. So we've got our mining pick here which allows us to go and pick up some ore along the way of our journey. We've got uh, one skill available. What's the actual skill? Essential is feedback. Essential and optional. You're saying feedback is essential. Whilst I'm here, I'll go and pick it up. Find the trainer who is over here, Brother Benjamin. So we'll go with the feedback, as that was suggested. Feedback rank two, anti-magic energy. We'll pop it down. It's not something I'm used to using, so I'll carry on with that. Okay, so next is leaving Stormwind City and doing our mining route. So let's go try this out. We should have bagwise a little bit of space here. Plenty for the moment anyway. I want to put some of this maybe on the auction house. Might want to keep it for levelling up our jewel crafting. But we'll check the price of ore and everything at the end of the session. I think before we leave Stormwind, let's go to the auction house and see what we have here at the moment. And just refresh ourselves with how the auction house is looking. I thought there was a way in down here, but sadly not. I think the alleyway's around the other side. Here it is. Okay, nice to see an active auction house. Lots of people around. So, how are we doing? How can we increase our gold amounts? Let's have a look what we have first at the moment. Okay, so we've got some early mats. Check Astral Essence Enchanting here. We don't really need this now at the moment, so I'm going to take our groups operations as they were you can see here our dashboard the flat line from back when we were here january the 4th 2020 a whole more than a year later we are back here march the 19th 2021 so a big hiatus uh, from the game so it's nice to come back we'll have a look everything will have changed of course so we'll have a look here enchanting wise we're going to remove this we don't need this now tailoring bags we could sell some bags there's no items in here at the moment we'll look at upgrading that a little bit later in terms of other things we have here let's have a look let's leave that for now and browse the auction house so we have a few things here we've got a small silk uh, pouch made by myself crafting cost of 29 silver we might be able to post that one on small silk pack uh, 66 silver there Let's try one of those for a couple of hours and see if that works. Cost me one silver to post. Now, in terms of food and things, I'm not sure how useful this is. The silk cloth I would kind of like to keep for the moment because that is going to be useful for me later. The food and the meat. Uh, we do have some light feathers that we've been keeping hold of for our levitate, so that's useful. All the profession bits we want. The Ah, the ruined copper rod we no longer need. So we can probably sell that to a vendor, as well as the rune silver rod. These are a few silver each from looking at the current min buyouts of everything here. There's an elemental earth, that's got a good price on it. Let's try and sell this to gold 41. Let's post some of that on. Let's try maybe an eight hours auction for that. And the meat is useful for hunters and things, so I'll try a few of these. Tender crossless meat. Now I have to remember the post and the stacks. All of this has changed since retail, so we don't necessarily have to always post at the cheapest here. There's vendors for 25 copper. We'll try some a little bit here. Keep an eye on the deposit cost on these, though. Red dye I want to keep hold of. Large fang. That might be useful. No bristly whiskers on available at the moment. Is that useful to me here? Lion meat. Let's try that. Two silver. 
at the moment. Vendors for 55 copper. So let's try that. And tiger meat. Okay, that gives us a few more. Here we go. We'll stick with a stringy vulture meat as well. We might as well try some of these uh, cat whiskers. 28 silver. Vendor sells for 7 silver. So that's interesting. You might want to uh, vendor that if that's not going to be useful. So we'll try here at 100 gold is a little bit excessive. What would we try at this point? Region, historical, 2 gold, 19 maybe. And we see we'll try at 8 hours for that. That's only 1 silver lost on that deposit fee. And then if that doesn't sell we'll be able to... Oh, it was only 1 we sold. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll try the 1. We'll put the other ones on as well. There we go, 8 hours. That's another 13 silver. 7 silver, so it's 1 silver per. And if it doesn't sell for the 2 gold 19, we'll try something else. There we go, rescan. So we've got our two auctions on there. One of 1 and 1 of 9. To reacquaint myself with the way classic auction house works, but this is what the purpose of the journey is. So with that done, uh, let's have a look tailoring-wise. Uh, silken threads. We could carry on with this, but I don't want to spend our money on this. Let's try our mining route first. Now, without any mounted ability here it's going to take us a little while to run through and do this route ideally we'd be doing this on maybe a druid that has travel form that would be useful but i think in this situation we should have plenty of opportunity to make at least a little bit of gold because i imagine these materials will be in relatively high demand as people prepare themselves for burning crusade and the purpose of our journey is to get ourselves ready for Burning Crusade, so levelling up to 60 would be the ideal here between now and whenever it releases. So I believe without seeing the find minerals tracked here on our map we should be able to see it anyway. I can ping things but I can't see the find minerals filter so let's try it. Let's follow the path and see where we land. Elwyn's forest is such a beautiful peaceful zone. Really nice just running around here enjoying the sights and listening to the ambience. Aha, here we have our first node. Now it hasn't appeared, find minerals hasn't appeared on my map. So I must have something not turned on on my series here. Ah, now I remember, I'm thinking Burning Crusade. It's an actual buff, isn't it? Let's have a look. Spellbook and abilities. Here we, here we go. <laughs> find minerals. Let's go pop that one on over this side. We don't need enchanting here, so let's turn that one on. Now we have it here. That's what I was expecting. Find minerals. So let's start here. There we go. Oh, we got our first copper ore. Currently min buyout of 96 copper. And rough stone 39. Ideally some gems would be useful as well. But we'll carry on our journey, see if we can find anything extra along this route and get ourselves at least up to skill level 50 or something. Now our gather mate 2 nodes don't appear on the map either. That would be useful to have a look at. So if we go into our add-ons, and if we import the data for mining, import GatherMate2. That's been imported now, at least we will see the nodes all over here as well. I forget these failed attempts. The purpose here is really to make sure that our mining skill is on par with our level of our zone that we're working in at the moment. So we have a little bit of catch-up to do before we can make full use of this. Aha, we have our first gem. Not a big one yet, but these are going to be useful for people wanting to level up their jewel crafting, so you may want to keep hold of those for the moment. Oh, look, our first sale. Oh, the Elemental Earth sold for two gold. Fantastic. That's really nice to see that the auction house is still active. Hopefully the first of many more sales to come. Uh, looks like we have a friend here. Our first, our first companion. Let's give them a buff and wish them on them very merry way. Okay, that was one loop of the whole circuit around here done. And with that we managed, how many have we got here? 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, nearly 50 copper ore. And 20, 30 rough stone as well. So that's pretty nice. We also got the malachite as well. So we'll carry on. We're also skill level 17 at the moment. So we'll carry on our route. See if we can improve on that. And we have our friend here again <laughs> doing his mining. He's still got our buff. So we may find ourselves out of a few nodes doing the opposite route to them. Going in different directions though means that we may be able to share some of the nodes though. With any luck. Oop, here's another gem. We've got Tiger's Eye now. 
Again, not worth a huge amount, but worth keeping hold of for now. I think the thing about Classic is because things are at a much slower pace, there's a lot more value in discovering new things it's like, oh, I've just found a node, and then going down and collecting it. It seems, it seems that each step of the journey has a significant point to the upgrade, like getting a skill point actually means a lot because it takes quite a long time to get the next one. And I think that's the core of Classic. Back in the day when it was very much a long-term game, I mean, it's very easy to rush through content nowadays, but there's something to be said for taking your time, immersing yourself in the world, and enjoying the journey along the way. And so yes, we may have spent a couple of hours here running around Elwyn Forest, levelling up our mining, but the journey is fun nonetheless because it is it is with an end goal in sight. And if that end goal takes a while to achieve, then the work put in is well worth it. Now we definitely have some competition for the nodes here. Let's see if where's our buff. There we go. Now following in the path of someone else, this could make things slightly difficult. Just give them a buff. Oh, they already have a buff. And a bigger one. And then get rid of that. And then we can carry on our journey. Anything we can do to help out people in their adventure is well worth it, certainly. Even if we are on the same journey together. There'll be plenty of nodes for everyone. It just might take us a little bit longer than normal. Ah, there goes our lion meat. Another thing sold. So, in the course of this adventure, we've managed to sell up a few different bits and pieces of what we have. So that's quite nice. It's nice to know that things are selling. We're almost here at skill level 50. Once we get to 50, then I'll head back to Stormwind. And I think that's the point at which I can start mining tin. Well, that might be higher up at 65. We may be able to pick up our next mining skill level though, if we do go that route, because this goes up to 75 in its current state. Copper veins are still yellow to me at 49. They will go green eventually, and that will make it harder to get the skill ups. Okay, we are up to level 51. We currently have just done another circuit. I discovered, I discovered a way up here following the copper vein. Never even knew this was here. Nice little tucked away corner, the Defias Brotherhood. They got a nice view from here. If I was going to be a bandit hideout, I think I would choose this one too. So we're going to head back into Stormwind now, see how we get on with what we have. Probably have to store some of this if we have the space. Might see if we can sell some of that fish and other things, or I might save it still for my cooking. It all depends on storage at this stage. I don't have a huge amount. I do have a second character called Storage Dan, that <laughs> is basically my storage character. But until then, what we'll do is we'll head on back into Stormwind and have a look at see if we can level up our mining. Uh, back into Stormwind. Let's have a look. Let's go to the Dwarven District first and then we'll have a look at our auctions after that. And look at our loot that we can sell as well. Lots of stuff here. We could of course smelt our copper ore into copper bars, but as we're thinking ahead to jewel crafting, we want to keep them as ores at this point. So let's have a look at our trainer. Can we train up the next version? Yes we can, we need mining 50 for a journeyman miner. So whilst we're here we'll pick up this and then we are ready for the next stage in our journey. Now let's go over to the auction house and have a look at see what's sold so far and what we've got coming in. And then we can have a look at anything that we might want to sell at the moment that we have. We need to clear out some bag space. Okay, let's have a look at the auction house. What do we have here? Uh, we don't have any recent data, so let's do a scan on behalf of TSM. Let that run through. Okay, so there we go. The scan has updated. So we'll have a look at my auctions. We have a couple of things that have sold, a couple of things that are running out quite quickly. We have some things we could possibly put on here. Min buy out of these are all the rabbit's foot looks like it might be a good one to sell. We'll go through some of these and have a look, see if we can put any of these on the auction house. No one's currently selling the rabbit's foot. It is a grey item, so possibly not in that case. Stringy wolf meat could be a good one to put on. Let's post on ours here. We're keeping the gems. The gems will keep definitely. Now this is for blacksmithing. Brands copper chain vest. It looks like it could be a... That's one we've bought before. 566 days ago. That's a lot of accounting data. Um, min buyout here, 62. Not sure whether I'd count that smart average buy price. So it's not, it looks like it's fairly common. We might be better off trying to vendor that one. There's a number of those are on. Keep the stone. Now leather could be interesting. Uh, 39 copper, fair amount of that. You want something in the silver range more than anything else. No tough jerky as of yet. 9 silver 95, we could try some on for that, 9 silver 95. A magic candle, 
that's interesting. I don't know whether that's really going to be useful, but I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Small spider legs could be good. No, it's Fender Cell 3 copper, 9 copper. Patchwork cloak. A lot of these, I think, we're better off just vendoring straight away. So we'll go and clear those out, I think. Let's go speak to a weapons merchant. There's our elemental earth cell. 2 gold, 30. That gives us a little bit more gold. 14 gold, 27. Let's go see if we can find some room in our bank for any of this. So that's looking pretty full. I think I might take the meat out. Anything that's got a more than reasonable sale rate. We're going to pop those on. All this fish, leather. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. We've deposited a whole load of our bits and pieces that we have here. We've got how much have we got now? 147 copper ore and 99 rough stone in total. So that's a good session there. We've got a little bit more here that we need some room for. We're going to sell some of this on the auction house as well. Just sold some turtle meat, so let's go through. Pop those on. There we go, we've posted on a few different bits and pieces. We have, in terms of gold, we have five sold auctions for one gold 42 already, 23 posted auctions for 26 gold. Currently have 14 gold on us. We've filled our banks full of copper ore that we're going to save for later. We've got a mining skill up to 51 now, so we can carry on. Next time we'll go around a new area and see if we can gain some more skill ups in another zone. At some point we'll get to the point where we'll also be getting experience and then we can pick up the questing storyline from there. So I hope you've enjoyed this new journey with classic Samadan. We've dusted him off from his archives and hopefully we'll have some nice new adventures ahead, making some gold along the way and enjoying the journey. So until next time, happy gold making and I'll see you very soon.